Hey friends, I am Jordan and I love helping overwhelmed moms become more peaceful and more present with their families. Uh, today I'm going to share with you just some tips and tricks about meal planning and grocery store planning and how you can really make that super easy so that you can knock it off your list and move on to the next thing on your list. Because I know you got a million things in your mind right now that you need to do other than grocery shopping. Um, so as a busy mom with busy toddlers, they're just busy, 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 uh, planning my grocery list and planning my meals for the week used to really, really stress me out. And so I had to find a better way. Um, and I know that's true for you guys as well. A lot of people reach out to me and ask me like how I meal plan with such a large family, um, and how I eat you know, get our kids to eat healthy meals on top of that. So I just wanted to give you a few tips today on how we make that work. So the first thing I do is check my pantry or my fridge and just kind of see what I have left over from the week before. So say the week before I had stew. So I have potatoes left over. So I'm going to try to think of meals that I have that I normally make that include potatoes. And kielbasa hash comes to mind. It's just potatoes and peppers and kielbasa. It's very, very simple. My whole family loves it. It's one of those one pan kind of meals. Um, <clears throat> so I use Google Keep um, and I have a list set up in Google Keep and Google Keeps like a running list for you um, of things that you've put on the list before. So I'm going to go in and I have a list for the grocery store and a list for um, meals. So I'm going to go in and I'm going to Pull up the meal list and I see kielbasa hash on the bottom. I'm going to unselect it so that it will show up in my list of meals for the week. And then I say, okay, I have the potatoes, but I need to add kielbasa and peppers and onions to my list. So then I switch over to the grocery list and I add those things to my grocery list. So I, you know, once I check my pantry and plan meals off of what we have left in our pantry, um, the next thing that I do is that I go through and I like look at our schedule. I'm looking down at my calendar <laughs> um, and I see what we have going on the coming week. If we have, I don't know, Carson has a baseball game and um, George is working a bunch of hours, probably not the best night to try to plan like a big elaborate meal, whatever. Probably need something easy that night. Um, so I always try to look at our schedule to make sure that my meal plan for the week lines up with what we have going on throughout the week. Um, just kind of helps things run a little bit more smoothly than me being stressed and not having that. Um, another thing that I do is every single week we have leftovers and every single week we have breakfast. Um, why? <laughs> because it's easy and it takes a ton of guesswork out of it for me. Every week we always have enough leftovers in our fridge to eat one meal as leftovers. We all have different things. Um, I just reheat it all in the oven real quick. Easy peasy. You know, the kids get to pick what they want and then we just have whatever's left. Um, so it kind of takes that guesswork out and then I'm not wasting food that way either. So saving money and, you know, not having that zero waste food um, or zero food waste that I really like as well. Um, so, yeah, we always have breakfast. It could be um, pancakes. It could be um, like biscuits and bacon and eggs like real simple sometimes I make a casserole like just whatever kind of breakfast food I'm feeling that week and whatever is simple and easy um so I have meals based off of what we have in our pantry meals based off of what our schedule looks like and um and um breakfast and um <laughs> I cannot think, and breakfast and leftovers every single week. Um, and then I try to just kind of go through and ask my family members, hey, is there something that you really want for dinner this week? Or is there a certain breakfast food that you want me to pick up for you um, for, you know, the morning before school or whatever? Um, and just that way they can have something that they like. Um, and so as they're enduring maybe some choices that they don't really like, I can remind them that their meal or their preference is coming up as well. The very last thing I do is I take my grocery list and I rearrange my grocery list in order of the store. And I know that that seems OCD and anal and all the things. Okay, fine. <laughs> that's totally me and that's fine. Um, but realistically, 
When you have your list in order of the store, there's no guesswork. You go right to that first thing on your list, and then you go right to that second thing on your list. It takes time off of your grocery trip. It's going to save you money because you're not looking from thing to thing. You're just looking at your grocery list, and you're going from step to step to step throughout the store until the checkout. Um, of course, there are things that you know you add into your cart, but for the most part, you're not grabbing extra things. It's saving you time, and it's saving you money, which are huge for me, huge for you as an overwhelmed mom. Um, so yeah, I just wanted to share with you guys some of the tips that that I found really helpful for grocery shopping and meal planning. Um, I hope that you guys enjoyed it. Tell me below in the comments um, what you guys do because I'm always like adapting and changing, um, trying to better that system for myself because it really used to be one of the things that I hated the most. Um, so tell me what you guys do when you meal plan, what you guys do when you grocery store plan, um, Give me your favorite easy recipes. Those are all things I feel like I am always looking out for. Um, yeah, so if you liked what you saw, just make sure that you um, like and subscribe. Give me all the hearts, all the things. Um, I'm so glad that you guys are here. Thanks.